Hey folks, welcome back to my channel Relationship Haven. My name is Gary and I hope you're all having a fantastic day or evening. Wherever you are in. Today's story, found out his wife who he's been with since high school had a 15-month affair with her co-worker. And the details of it were shocking. In today's second story. Opie found out his wife had been having an affair for seven months with her therapist and needs advice on how to proceed. Now, let's get into today's stories. I married my high school sweetheart in 2003 at the age of 18. She is the woman that I lost my virginity to at the age of 17. And to this day, I'm now 37. She is the only woman I have ever laid with. Our wedding was small and it was done in a small three-week window between the U.S. Army boot camp and being shipped off to Germany to begin my first assignment. Three months after being there, my new wife joined me and we began our young marriage. We lived there for 3.5 years and it was an absolutely wonderful way to begin a marriage. The best part was that we were away from our families and were really allowed to discover ourselves and be who we wanted to be. We were madly in love and enjoyed so much of our experience in Europe, but it was not all smooth sailing. We had our first child in Germany in the summer of 2005 and then my four years of active duty ended about a year later in the summer of 2006. And we moved back home to the States, husband, wife and our beautiful baby boy. About two weeks after getting home, our sweet baby boy died in a horrific accident. I don't want to get into details about how it happened, but it was obviously very tough on us. But through all of that, our marriage stayed strong and we were very unified. Since then, we've had two more baby boys. They are now 11 and 14 years old and they are absolutely amazing children. I don't mean to brag, but we did right, raising these kids. They are polite, respectful, generous and they try really hard in school and get good grades and are really dedicated to their prospect, sports and hobbies that they enjoy. We both love them and are excited about the young men they are growing into here is the really hard part. I am 14 days past discovery day, my wife fully disclosed an affair that she had with a co-worker. This was not only an emotional affair but an extremely sexual affair. It lasted an entire 15 months and she says she probably averaged sex with this man about twice a week for 15 months. That means that she had sex with this man about 120 times all the while she would come home at night and we would kiss each other goodnight and sometimes have sex probably about once or twice a week. I feel like this is the ultimate betrayal. My heart is absolutely broken. My world is falling apart. I am so confused about some of it. This man worked with my wife and helped train her when she got the job in August of 2020. I remember the first time I met him was at a concert. My wife introduced us and at the time, the affair was six months in, I think, back to that moment and she was so excited to introduce us. I don't understand why there are about four or five other times that my wife and I went out with her co-workers for drinks. And I sat across the table and joked with this guy all the while he was looking me in the eyes and thinking I'm screwing your wife. I feel like this was so extremely disrespectful for my wife to bring me to hang out with her affair partner. I asked her why she did that. And she says, I don't know it doesn't make sense. I thought maybe if he met you, it would open the door to ending it with him. I am not sure if I buy that. It's just so humiliating since Discovery Day. My wife and I have had many hours every single day of very open discussions with lots of tears. I've cried more in the last two weeks than the rest of my adult life combined. She says she has told me everything she wants us to stay together. She is showing signs that she is going to do whatever it takes to win me back and make us work. We are seeking marriage counseling and have watched and read multiple self-help videos and articles about marriage after an affair. We are at the beginning of this very long journey of recovery. Hopefully, there's obviously a lot more to my story, but this is getting long. I love my wife. I always have and I feel like I always will until the day I die. She has been my best friend since I was 17. That's what makes this so hard. 
How could she do this to me? How could I ever trust her again? She entangled herself into such a deep web of lies. She gas-lighted me so badly and created an alternate reality to make me believe that this guy was just a friend. And whenever I confronted her about my suspicions, she made me believe that I was crazy. For example, one time she confessed that I called her during sex. She she had told me she was out with a group of friends. I tracked her iPhone to a parking lot. I texted her and said, what are you doing? Are you cheating on me? Why are you in the parking lot for so long? She yelled at me and said her and her group of friends were just hanging out. I felt really bad about it at the time. I was thinking I need to trust my wife. She would never do this to me. I was so naive. She literally stopped having sex to call me back and yell at me for accusing me of cheating on her. I am so confused, hurt, ashamed and embarrassed. I've never struggled with depression, but I feel so low right now. I don't really know if I'm looking for advice or what. I just need to tell my story update. I wanted to give some more insight into how the situation unfolded. I found out on the evening of discovery date. We were sitting on the couch with our boys watching a family show. She asked if I'd like a beer. I said, sure. She jumped up and said, I'll get it. I was like, okay, thanks. But I had to take a piss. So I got up too. She went out to the garage where the fridge is and I went into the bathroom. I came out and she was still in the garage. So I opened the garage door and I had caught her in a video chat with someone. She quickly put the phone against her shirt and acted like nothing was happening and walked inside with the beers. She sat the phone face down on the counter and we were talking and I was thinking this is strange. My thoughts in the moment were she is hiding something from me. Then all of a sudden I heard a noise from her phone and realized the video chat was still on. She grabbed the phone and swiped up to close the app and then showed me the phone and said something like, I don't know what that was. Look, nothing is open. And I said something like you must think I'm stupid. In hindsight, I was extremely. We sat down on the couch and I kept pressing, who was that? Who were you talking to? I must note at this time, the boys had gone upstairs to get ready for bed. My wife was very hesitant and visually nervous and then she sat up straight and said, I'm having an affair. So in a way I caught her. But in that moment, she could have continued the gaslighting process and lied and it probably would have worked because of how naive I was. But in that moment she decided it was time. That was how and when this roller coaster began right now, the kids are number one. Honestly, their simple existence is what kept me from driving my car off a cliff after I learned how deep this got. They are my rock that is holding me down to earth and their future is why I am continuing to function and find reasons to make good decisions and try to be a good person. As far as my marriage, I am not making any decisions for a while. I am not the type of person to make life-changing decisions in an instant. I need to think a lot. My biggest support group is my three brothers. They know me and my wife and my story better than anyone in the world. I am going today to tell them what I'm going through. Their advice and opinions will be valuable to me. I am very fortunate to have them. As for the affair partner, my wife ended everything at that moment. She has blocked contact with him on all social media and deleted the evil WhatsApp that this affair thrived on. They do still work at the same company but not in the same division, not even in the same building. Their two jobs have no reason to communicate professionally. He does still want her. He has tried to contact her. She has shown me his attempts. I don't think I'm being lied to on this, but obviously I don't trust her. P. Please do not take her back. You need to do what's best for you and your children. And that would be to divorce her immediately. Your wife introduced you to her affair partner and had the two of you hang out because she and her affair partner got off on it. It made them hanging out more, forbidden, more taboo with no doubt in my mind. After each time you were around the affair partner, the next time they slept together, they were probably laughing at you. 
It is disrespectful and understandably humiliating and she's still gaslighting you by telling you that she doesn't know why she did it or that she did it. Hoping to end the affair. I understand that seeing things from the outside of a situation is a lot easier than seeing them from the midst of it. But imagine that in 20 years, one of your boys came to you and told you that their wife had cheated on them for 15 months. Would you tell them to swallow their pride for another 40 years? Or would you tell them to have self-respect to stand up for themselves? Get rid of the garbage in their life and move on to better things. I truly hope you make the right decision and wish you the best of luck. Now, let's see what the comments had to say about the situation. Fluid, Push 134 said, Find a good divorce lawyer and learn about your legal options because if you choose the divorce route, it's important for her to have a job and earn money in terms of child support and alimony. If you want to try to reconcile, they not working in the same workplace with the affair partner and no contact are a must. It is also recommended to expose them to the other betrayed spouse, our families and friends. But timing is important if you choose to divorce should be done in a way that works for you. She's probably telling you that she's ready to do anything to reconcile. But think about the millions of lies she's told you and how much you can trust her words don't fall into the history trap either. She's not the soulmate. You think she showed you who she is and what she's capable of. Most affairs don't last that long and cheaters don't get the opportunity to have sex that often. Think what kind of wife would put so much effort into it. Think what kind of character would scold her husband for suspecting her while she's having sex with her affair partner. Now, let's get into today's second story about four days ago, my wife consummated an affair she, she's been having with her therapist for the past seven months, three months ago, she cut off sex and told me I didn't deserve it anymore and I have to earn the right. I found myself in a dead bedroom as time went on, I kept attempting to talk things through with her. I was starved of intimacy, touch and reassurance. I felt betrayed. I was convinced that there was more to it, but she kept explaining things away, redirecting the questions, change facts, etc. I regularly prompted her to please be open and honest with me so we can work things out. But I was exhausting her. She never had time for me and always had higher priority things to focus on her resentment of me grew and she was openly hostile to me at this point. Then she scheduled a trip to go to a women's empowerment event, females only. And I knew in my heart what was happening, she had found a cover story that she knew I wouldn't argue with. I couldn't sleep. So I snooped through her accounts again. I went through the phone records, search history and I purchased a background search service so I could find out which numbers were whose there was a suspicious number. So I decided to give it a call. And sure enough, the name on the voicemail was none other than her therapist. I did a background search and discovered he lived in the same town. She booked the hotel on the second night of her trip. I accessed her search history and put together a timeline of events of conversations we had compared to her very disturbing search results and various other findings. All of my fears were confirmed even worse than I had imagined. She was researching how marriages turn out with your therapist how to document evidence to prepare for a divorce. She stalked him and his family did background checks on them, researched how to hide assets during a divorce, how to catfish someone the law of if a therapist could lose their license if they had sex with a client and the list of things went on. She googled this man nearly every day. The evidence was undeniable. She absolutely loves this man and was stalking him the day before her trip. Five days ago, she searched how to not fart during six. All the pieces were there and I knew exactly what was going on. I sent her a text message Sunday morning, outlining all of the things I knew that were going on. I called out her affair partner by name and said she needed to come clean if she had any desire to fix our relationship. She returned Sunday a day early. She demanded to know where I got this info from, but I withheld it and told her where I got it from is not important and I held my ground. I didn't want to give her the opportunity to obfuscate twist, deny or reason with any of the evidence. 
Eventually, she spilled all the information she described in detail how they had sex. She told me she wants to continue on with the affair to see where things go, but also wants to continue her marriage with me because she loves me. I'm sickened. I'm horrified. But for some reason I can't help but think maybe I should try to have an open relationship. Maybe it'll be fun even please someone shake me out of this idiotic line of thinking after some intense hours of her sharing and telling me everything and the more I think about it, the crazier this all sounds. Apparently her therapist is a leader of a group of men that go out into the woods for sexual male empowerment sessions which are secretive and they are not allowed to say what goes on there. Instead of my wife attending the female version of this, she attends the graduation ceremony of the male session where each guy gets on stage and tells his emotional story. Then the family members come on stage to give testimonials of how the man's life improved. After joining this group, I could just be paranoid, but now I get the feeling her therapist recruits vulnerable women for this organization and indoctrinates them to take advantage of them sexually. I can't prove that I'm at a loss on one side. I'm deeply disturbed and upset by my wife's actions. On the other side, I think she was taken advantage of manipulated and coached by her therapist and I could report him to the board to have his license revoked. Open marriage. Do you hear yourself? Please wake up and do stop allowing your wife to manipulate you into allowing her to have her cake and eat it too. You definitely need to report that man so his license can get revoked and then divorce your wife as well while you're at it. Even if that therapist did manipulate her, she had plenty of chances to stop things from going further and she didn't. Both your wife and the affair partner are in the wrong here, dump her and move on with your life by learning how to develop some self-respect. Good luck. Thanks for taking the time to listen to today's stories. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and comment below on what your thoughts are on today's stories. If there's a story you would like to share with me about your own